Both teams want to make a statement. Referee blows his whistle. We are underway. Off the boot of Harrison Rook. It's a shallow kickoff. And back comes Millen. Straight through the heart of the defence. Still going. Wasn't hurled. The prop. Now Brophy in behind. The dummy half. Makes another 10 metres. Anderson this time. Finds Tuialili. We'll make it to halfway. On play two, already at halfway, the visitors. Anderson. Cassiotti. Juggle. Taken eventually by Savaja. Standing in the tackle. Can't put him to ground. Brophy gets in behind. Dummy half will go. That's his second run of the set. Late in the counts. Juggle from Millen. The prop back into it. Bouncing players off him. Last tackle, 20 metres away. What can they deliver here, Erendale? Anderson, cross field kick. Up it goes. Juggled by Sweeney. Throws it. It's a forward pass. So when 80 metres from that set did Erendale, making their intentions clear. Walker with strong charge for Matraville. The Matraville team. Sam McLaughlin at fullback. Mark Reed and JK Moon, the wingers. Centres are Luke Tonnet and Don Buetti. 5'8 is Cooper Taff. And the halfback in Jersey 7 is Harrison Rook. Good tackle from Erendale there on Buetti. Full pack Kai Walker in eight. Corey Taff in nine. And Tex Hedeman wearing Jersey 30. He's the starting prop. Back row of Harlem Peters, Danahi McGilvray, and John Vanderwall. On the bench, Rocky Garlic in 14. Jaki and Mami in 15. Brody McLean in 18. 17. They're coached by John Ma. For Arendelle College at fullback, Sam Gash. On the wings, Oli, Bolata, Jissi, and Alex Sweeney. Sentence are uh, Lachlan Kuninen and Mark Tuiali. 5'8 is Blake Hovey, and the halfback is Jonah Anderson. Up front, Jesse Millen, as we said in Jersey 20, Mitch Brophy, and Jana Savasha. Max Mercer, the back row, is knocked on. He's in 11. 12 is Brock. Apolevsky and Xavier Koshotti in Jersey 13. On the bench, Michael Tito, Josh Urbanek, Lachlan Bishop, and Andrew Moore. Their coach is Ashley Barnes. 11, 11. Scrum to pack down. Matraville with the loose and feed. No score. Here in the Central Pool 2 game. Contact in the tackle. Taffet dummy half. Vanderwall. Running right into the meat of the defence. Taff again in acting half. Rook. Now McGilvray. The edge back rower trying to punch away through the line. Taffet dummy half. Now Vuetti. Trying to bounce off tacklers. Good metres here from Matraville. Rook. Nice swirling bomb. Sweeney has knocked it on. It's a great kick from Matraville. Rook using that breeze. Holding up in there. Sweeney never looked comfortable. And now Matraville with the opportunity to post the first points of the game. I'll start this set 15 minutes out from the opposition try line. Stacked out to the right. Let's see what they can come up with, the home side. Rook from the scrum. Now McGilvray on for Vuetti. Trying to throw away Kuninen. He was on for the right. Taff thought about giving it to Rook. Decided to go himself the dummy half. 
Chaff Brothers are the hooker and the 5'8. Rook trying to go past Mercer. They get numbers in the tackle. Erendale hit the half back at bay. Taffer dummy half. Now Tedderman ducking the head, trying to get to the try line. Can't quite get there. And a penalty. Six more tackles for Matraville. That'll please those in attendance. Plenty of family and friends watching on. Unable to score last game. Can they break the duck here? Mitch Brophy going on report. The pressure tackle. Attention around the neck. Tavoetti will go first. Trying to get past Mercer. Crawling to the line, the centre. Taff. Manderwall. Brother Taff. Strong contact on McLaughlin. Herondale force an error with their defence. Savaja getting him going back the right way. Very tall forwards. Powerful. Millen's lining up. They ignore him. Another skinny short side with Anderson. The halfback isn't afraid to run. Brophy now Millen. Get finds his front. Quick play the ball. Brophy out of dummy half. Thought about Cassiotti. Took the tackle. Over halfway, Aaron Dale. Harvey sends it high. McLaughlin, good catch over his shoulder. That's hard to do. He held 10 metres out from his own try line. Good contest, this. Now, Rook. Vowetti out of dummy half. Good leg drive, good footwork. Taff, two passes wide they come. Vanderwall. Taff waits a dummy half. McGilvray off a standing start. Trying to get past Mercer. Mercer got the knee in the face for his troubles. Last tackle. Here they go again. That was Cooper Taft that time. Juggle from Sweeney. Taken safely. Maybe a place Matraville target. Bit of a nervous start from Alex Sweeney on that wing for Erendale. And they win a penalty, the visitors. Anderson will kick for line. Back to the middle's a call. Now Millen doing just that, bouncing off defenders. Cassiotti ducking under tackles. And another penalty for Erendale. Shoulder charge. According to the referee. Gash. Good distance on the touch finder. Tuya Lili, spinning in the tackle, eventually put down by Taff. Shaped out to the left. Anderson, now Millen, straight past the first line of defence. They're rolling here, Erendale. Can they hit the scoreboard? Brophy, good strong tackle by Rook on Cassiotti. Five metres away from the try line, Erendale. Brophy, Anderson, dummies. It's a leg tackle. But they keep him at bay. Good scrambling defence. But they can't keep him out much longer. That's the first try of the game to Savaja. Big man on little man. And Erendale place it underneath the back dot. Four points to nil. 
Erendale lead Matraville. Good online defence. They kept out the big man, Jesse Millen. They weren't going to keep out Jack Savage. Nice easy one to start for Sam Gash. Gonna convert. First try of the day. Gash comes in. And puts it through the middle. Two more points. Erendale leads six points to nil. Here at Pioneers Park in Malabar, neighbouring suburb of Matraville. it towards the sideline taken safely on play two to Iali looking very likely makes 15 meters trophy at dummy half now Anderson the back cash through the hands hobby through the line trying to tee up his support finds Mercer it's a free run to the line for the back rower. They're trying to come across, but he does well, Mercer. Aaron Dale go bang, bang. Two tries in quick succession. Strip match reveal for numbers on the left side. The 5A Hovey had options inside and out. Decided on Mercer at the end. And it was a free run to the line. Ten points to nil, Erendale. Gash with a slightly more difficult attempt this time around. From point blank for his first attempt. Can he be successful this one? A little bit of breeze to speak of, but shouldn't be too much of a factor. Drives through the ball and keeps it inside the left hand upright. 12 points to nil. Two converted tries for Arendale. They lead over Matraville Sports High School. This is the second game for both teams in this competition, the Peter Mile Holland Cup. First game, Matraville went down 56-0 against Patricia Brothers Fairfield. Erendale got a 38-8 victory over Illawarra Sports High School. So in the round robin, Illawarra Sports High School will take on Matraville next. Erendale will play Patricia Brothers Fairfield, which could well decide who wins the group. Millen. Good tackle down low from Tedeman. The left they play, Cassiotti. Hovey, Mercer, Kunanen again, trying to tee up his winger. 
There he goes along the touchline, coming around and improving the position. Bola Tajisi using all the room he had in a tight spot, and that's the third try for Aaron Dale. Kuninen thought about dropping his winger on the inside. Bola Tajisi knew he had enough time and enough space. 16 points to nil. Not long gone in this one. Another straightforward attempt for Sam Gash to keep his perfect record intact so far. Two from two, we're going to make it three from three. Gash from right in front. Puts it through the middle, 18 plays nil, here at Pioneers Park. Slow start from Arendale, but they've really come into their own. That's three tries in around seven minutes. It's potent left edge. Rook gets his back on the way. Changes the position of his previous kicks. Gassiotti takes the first run of the game. Brophy. Anderson. Apolevsky. The edge back row on the right. All the attention being with Max Mercer on the left. Juggle by Samaja. Scored the first try of the game. Brophy out of dummy half. Markers were called offside. And the dummy half took the cue. Gassiotti. Knows himself. Played like dummy half city country this year. Xavier Gassiotti. The lock forward roll today. Hovey puts it high. Tough for McLaughlin. He's dropped it. And the referee said he's caught it. Going back to the 20. Look, McLaughlin has to go back. Run by Coleman Marin. Walker. And Matraville with the penalty. Too slow getting up for Merrindale. Rook finds the line. Start this set on halfway. Peters charging into the line. Taffa dummy half, Van der Waal, Rook, now McLaughlin, Voetti trying to bounce out of a tackle. Takes two Arendelle players to put him down. Taff with a dummy half run. Bola Tajusi coming up with back-to-back -back tackles. Voetti shapes the short side but goes for a dummy half run. Taff. Now Van der Waal, first receiver. Finds Walker. Spinning in the tackle. Last play. 20 metres away, Matraville. Rook, chipping over the top. Safely taken by Gash. Sam Gash, also part of that 
City Country game, New South Wales Rugby League Pathways program. He and 34 others got the chance to get a training session from the New South Wales Blues coaching staff. Brad Fittler, Andrew Johns, Paul McGregor. It's the insight they would have received from that was massive. Brophy. Now to Yali. Didn't get up to play the ball. It's a penalty for Matraville. Tried to play it too quick. Walker, that's good contact. Wants the collision. Rook. Now McLaughlin. Had Vuetti at his shoulder. Didn't use him. Starting to get good field position, Matraville. Peters. Wrestling in the tackle. Rook at first receiver. Now Taff. Find that will be hurled 20 metres away. Back towards the centre. Rook. Van der Waal. Trying to split the defenders. He held 10 metres away in line with the right hand upright. Here come Matraville. Rook. Now Valetti tries to use his power. Can he get to the end goal? No, he won't. Change over. An inch from the try line. Any of the planes flying in and out of Sydney Airport. To where we are, New South Wales Southeast. Matraville, the venue. Anderson. Now Tui Ali'i coming infield. Bouncing out of tackles. Goes from right to left. Brophy goes to the short side. Hovi cut out ball. Bola Tajusi bounces out of one tackle. Ankle tap gets back to his feet. Oli. Ball back on the inside for Mercer. Now Hovi. Another line break on that left side for Erendale. And he's knocked on. Blake Hovey appealing for a strip. Referee wasn't having it. Just the back down for Matraville. Deep in this first half, 18 points to nil. And left behind. Knocked on from the scrum. That's not what Matraville wanted. They need to be clean on this side of the field, the home side. That won't help the cause. Hobby feeds the scrum. Brophy, looping ball over the top, was juggled by Tuiali. He's coming back infield, leaves Walker behind. Still going the centre. A Herculean effort. Five metres away. In line with the right hand upright. Brophy finds Anderson. The more conventional rounds. Opolevsky. How did they keep him out? Back towards the middle. Bishop charging, looking for the try line, can't quite find it. And he's knocked on. Good goal line defence by Matraville. That will give them confidence. Just over five minutes remaining in the first half. Dale, three converted tries. Matraville would love to jag one before half time. 
Lift the spirits. Peters with the mullet. Taff from dummy half, trying to wriggle out of tackles. Work from Bishop. Van de Waal pumping those legs. Short pass left behind again. Got another knock on, out of trouble for Matraville. Not what the doctor ordered. Dark clouds ahead, it's overcast. Hopefully the rain stays away. Anderson wins a scrum. Hovey showing it underneath. Now Gash joins in. Bola Tajisi. And in the ears back for the corner. Finds Gash inside. Routine for Arendale. This left side getting a workout. And another try for the visitors. Gash, that's his first try of this year's campaign. One of their stars. Good support play on the inside. And they rack up a fourth through Arendale. Gash has been lucky. Three of his four attempts have been from this position. Let's see if he can knock over number four. Convert his own try, Sam Gash. Comes in. Last movement. It's almost like a golf swing. Puts it through. 24 plays nil. Arendale lead. The Tradition Brothers Fairfield got another big result against Illawarra Sports High School a few days ago. 58 10 winners. So Patricia Brothers Fairfield have scored 114 points and only led in 10. Aaron Dale, looking to see if they can match that ratio. So far they've scored 62 points, only let in eight. McGilvray with the kickoff. Finds Anderson. Back they come again, straight through the line. Off the kickoff. Coming to the fullback, Urbanak. Couldn't get any further. They're backpedaling. Dale, and now knock on, turning defence into attack. Matraville, a gift set here. Corey Taff out of dummy half. McGilvray, first receiver, back on the inside, Vanderwall. Trying to change the focal point of attack. Can they break the defence before half time? Taff. Out the back for McLaughlin. The Navy Blue of Natraville. Taff, dummies. Almost got to the line, the dummy half. Deep in the counts. Cooper Taff dropping on Peters. Last tackle, five metres away, underneath the black dot. Grub a kick through off legs. Diffused safely by Arendale. Kuninen running across field. Good contact. 
from Matraville. It's the halftime bell and the halftime whistle here at Pioneers Park in Matraville. At halftime, Arendelle College lead 24 points to nil over Matraville Sports High School. Gash gets it started for the second half. Deep kick. Back comes Walker. Going straight into Tuiali. The centre had a good first half for Erendale. Didn't get a try. But definitely a couple of line breaks and tackle bar speeders. Dumped into the turf. Taff. Now McLaughlin. The fullback coming to help out. Out of dummy half, likes to scoot. There he goes again. McGilvray at dummy half. Two passes wide. Now Van der Waal. Oh, now last tackle. McGilvray, his kick charged down. Six more tackles for Matraville. Slice of luck for the home side. McGilvray out of dummy half. He's doing everything at the moment. Danahi McGilvray. Taff. Pops the ball out the back for McLaughlin. He offloads to Peters. Charging over halfway. And a penalty to Boots. Dale haven't touched the ball yet in this second half. Uh, the kickoff. Now Vawetti charging into the line. Options left and right for Tap. Vanderwall. The back for Tap again. Balls come out. Knock on. Matraville had really good field position. Couldn't capitalize on it. Have to get those defensive shoulders on. Aaron Dale to feed the scrum 20 meters out from their own try line. When the scrum gash dropping Mercer underneath. That blue and white headgear. What a try in the first half. Bishop running over McGilvray. Pops a ball out the back. Gash sniffing around. Now they've forced the error, Matraville. Forward pass. Advantage was played. No, it wasn't, says the referee. Scrum the pack down for Aaron Dale. Fullback Gash. He's going to feed the scrum. He's communicating with the halfback Jonah Anderson. What scrum player are they going to put on here? Arendale. They win the scrum. Anderson. The back for Gash. Now to Yali'i. Offload for Sweeney. Trying to use the fend. Stays in the field to play. To Yali'i. Coming back in field. Runs at Walker. Pops the ball out the back. Brophy. Trying to use that footwork. Gets within 10 of the line. Aaron Dale looking to make it try number five. Anderson juggles. Cut out ball for Tuiali. -E. Has Sweeney there. Doesn't need Sweeney. And slams it down with authority. Try for Aaron Dale. Their first of the second half. Courtesy of their second half. First view of their centre. Mark Tuiali. -E. Didn't score in the first half, but he'd been threatening for quite some time. The back lift when he was ready to slam that ball down.
Gash with his Gash with his toughest kick of the game. Taking his time with it. Not too much wind to speak of. Might start it out just beside the right hand upright. Does just that, curls around, and through the middle. 30 points to nil. Arendale lead Matraville. So picked up where they left off, Arendale College. to kick off. Drives it long. Taken by Anderson. Back comes Millen. Big contact. Takes four Matraville players to try and put him down. Still going Millen. A juggle. Great kick return. Anderson. Early ball. But to Eli'i. Wrestling out of tackles. Always has that Gidley flick pass ready to go. Sweeney. Anderson. Back towards the middle. Don by Hermanek. Now Valwetti. Matraville on the attack. McGilvray running as an edge forward. Put on his back. Now the referee just coming in to calm the players. Time off. Arendelle has been sent away. Referee just convening with the touch judge. Get a report. Maybe in something that was said. <coughs> Gilbray being called out. Very hot at the moment, McGilvray. I believe he's been sent off. So that won't help. Matraville. Arendelle lead, 30 points to nil. Now Matraville, a man down. Could shoot up. Muir. New man in the head gear. To the left they play. Hovey, dummies, the 5-8. Ball rolls along the ground. Knock on, according to the referee. Arendelle College from down in Canberra. Have an affiliation with the Canberra Raiders. <laughs> Matraville, what have they got? It becomes a game within a game. Can they get a try today? Hold. Hold. 
Metroville to work it out of your own end. Some big games to come next term. Hills and Westfields, Endeavour versus Patricia Mothers Blacktown. That's for the seeded pool. Of course, we mentioned Matraville versus Illawarra Sports High School, who can notch their first win of the campaign. Bass Sports High School, of course, we've got a big win against Holy Cross. They're coming up against St Dominic's College, a renowned rugby league school. Produced the likes of Nathan Cleary. Let's see you in that Panther system. Taft's kick was charged down, but taken by Kunanen. Wola Tajusi. Wrestling through the tackle. Gash at first receiver. Out the back for Anderson. Early kick. They've got the running here, Aaron Dale. Tonnet trying to come across, couldn't clean it up. And it's try time for Arendale. <laughs> Looks like Apolevsky from here. The back row with the try. Just couldn't deal with that one, Matraville. Got him behind, Sweeney. And also Tui Ali'i were chasing as well. That's another one for Arendale. Gash with a tough kick. Not the preferred side for a right foot kicker. Wouldn't be more than a meter in. From the right hand touch line. Biggest test of his perfect record, Sam Gash. <coughs> Gash from the sideline. Struck it well, coming around and puts it through. Great conversion. Six from six. Thirty six plays nil. Thirteen minutes remaining. Thirteen minutes gone in the second half, so seventeen minutes remaining. Referee just counting heads. Correct compliment on for Aaron Dale. Savaja with that left arm carry. Great way to start the set. On down that left hand channel. Hovi, the 5'8, he's having a day out on that side. Back to halfway. Mercer drawing and forward pass as well. Call from the referee. That potent left side attack for Aaron Dale, flexing their muscles. Vanderwall held on play one, flop. Holding the tackle, that's what he came over the top. Good 
distance from the touch finder. This is where Matraville want to play. The attacking half. Boetti. Hold on play one. Walker. Taff at dummy half. Now Van der Waal. At the back for Cooper Taff. And we propelled forward. 15 metres away. Need to get to the end of their set, Matraville. Peters. Dummies to the left. Taff goes back to the middle. Forward and knocked on. Not what they needed in that part of the field, Matraville. Thirty-six nil, but all different try scorers. The thermometer drops here in Matraville. It's overcast. The rain gods have been kind so far to Ialii, the centre. Always available for an offload. Anderson, now Savage, finds his front. Cassiotti into dummy half, bringing Millen onto the ball. Not held, Millen. Eventually put to ground. Cassiotti. Tito. Lateral player left behind. And one short in the defence. Kunanen, dummies, the centre, straight through. And into the end goal. Try for Arendale. Just need a little bit of space. And now Arendale into the 40s. Early ball to their centres. Proof fruitful today for Arendale. Got some good early ball to Tui Ali. Midway through the first half and the second half. And now Kunanen able to get across the stripe too. to make it seven from seven. <laughs> Struck it okay, drives it low. And fades away. First miss of the day. Only blemish on Arendale so far. It was 40 points to nil. Here at Pioneers Park in Malabar. Tonnet drives it deep. Awkward bounce for Anderson, but back comes Millen. Jesse Millen. A2, Gash, getting in there like a forwards run. The fullback. Very important to Arendelle's hopes in this competition. Season 2023. Millen again, his second charge of the set. 
Anderson, early kick. Chase is on from Sweeney. Tonnet trying to get back. Able to clean it up that time. The tough carries here for Matraville. The dirty work to get out of their own end. McLaughlin. Squashed it on the ground. Monaka Liffey. He'll be asked to play it 35 metres out from his own try line. Tap dropping Vuetti underneath. That's a good charge. Last tackle for Matraville. Cooper Taff. Kicks long. Gets a nice kick as well. Gash will have to go back and take it. Sam Gash puts the accelerator on. Past the first line of defence, Sam Gash. Can he stay in? He does. Aaron Dale looking to come back towards the middle. Bola Tanjisi. Penalty for Matraville. Didn't make it to his feet to play it. Referee's been very particular in that today. Of course, Matraville playing with 12 men after Danahi McGilvray was sent off. Tonic finds a touchline. Walker, charging into the defence. Can Matraville get a try to get their home fans on their feet? Vuetti looks one of the most likely. Taff out of dummy half. Links with his brother, eventually finds McLaughlin. 15 metres away, right on the right-hand touchline. A spin it to the left. Here it comes for Matraville. Great take from Tonnen. Taff scoots out of dummy half. Ball flings out the back. A knock on ruled by the referee. It's a seven try margin. Aaron Dale. Four tries in the first half. Three tries in the second. Hope you're enjoying this Daily Telegraph live stream. Peter Mulholland Cup. Best schoolboys going around. Another game on Tuesday to come for the end of term. Make sure you tune in to the Daily Telegraph website for that one. If you know any players associated, family, friends, make sure they sign up and subscribe. Good charge from Bishop. Good impact player. He'll be helpful at the back end of this competition. Hovi out of dummy half. Mercer cut out ball. Kuninen. Getting past the first line of defence, Kuninen. Still going. 30 metre line break. They're back paddling here, Matraville. Just got to spin it to the right. Gash settles play. Now Anderson, they eventually get it there. And Apolevsky is the man to put it down. <whistles> two tries for him, the two most recent tries. Aaron Dale, 44 points to nil. Five minutes remaining. Kuninen causing all sorts of problems on that left side. The right hand defence of Matraville. Make the line break. Then good presence of mind for Gash. Spread it out to the right. 
eventually into the hands of Brock Bolevsky. Gash has had success with this type of kick today. Landed a couple in this direction. Does it again nicely. 46 plays nil. Aaron Dale may be looking to notch the half century now. They only need one more try. Bounce friendly for Anderson. That comes over here. Beat the first collision. He should have put the ground 25 metres out from his own try line. Anderson. Dummies, the halfback. So we are Lee. Would have been away. Markers are offside. Now Bishop tips it on. Muir. He'll play it. That left side again. Hovey. Dummies the 5'8. Feels like the only player not on the score sheet. Gash, skinny short side, Tito. And now coming around, Bolan Tanjizi. The winger has his second try. And there is the 50 for Arendale. Matraville just not marking up. on the dot. Sam Gash taking his time with this one. Heading into the last minute of the game. Gash comes in. Waved away. Score remains 50 points to nil. Here at Pioneers Park. Round two of the Peter Mulholland Cup. There's still plenty of schoolboy footy over the next few months. Got the round three fixtures and then the final series as well. Aaron Dale looking to book their ticket. Lachlan. This one is short. Will it go 10? How's the bounce? Not favourable for Matraville. Penalty for Arendale. Last minute of the game. Can they sign it off with a try? Bishop. 
Charging into the defense. Penalty for Matraville. Wasn't ready to play the ball in time. Gonna get to his feet, according to the referee. McLaughlin kicks for line. Now it's Matraville's turn. Can they get the try? They send their home fans away with something. There is the bell. Last play. Vuetti running into the line one more time. And he's trapped there by Erendale. That's the full-time whistle here at Pioneers Park in a Mulholland Cup round two match. It's Erendale College 50 who defeated Matraville Sports High School nil.